Hello again. This is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. And today our devotion is coming from the book of 1 Timothy. We will be in chapter 4, verses 7 through 16. Today is Saturday, and it is the 12th of October. And here is our devotion. Have nothing to do with godless myths and old wives' tales. Rather, train yourself to be godly. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has a value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. This is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance. That is why we labor and strive, because we have put our hope in the living God, who is the Savior of all people, and especially of those who believe. Command and teach these things. Do not let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Until I come, devote yourself to the public reading of Scripture, to preaching, and to teaching. Do not neglect your gift, which was given to you through prophecy when the body of elders laid their hands on you. Be diligent in these matters. Give yourself wholly to them so that everyone may see your progress. Watch your life and doctrine closely. Preserve in them because if you do, you will save both yourself and your hearers. And that is the word of the Lord. Live Holy is the article for today by Joe Foltz. Here's what Joe writes for us. It happened again this week. Posts have been going around social media that aren't true. Yet I see a lot of brothers and sisters in Christ sharing them. Paul told Timothy not to get wrapped up in old wives' tales and godless myths, but instead to train for godliness. In the same way, I have sometimes challenged the congregations I've pastored to spend an hour in prayer daily for every hour they spend watching cable news. What does training for godliness look like? Paul compares it to physical fitness. If you're a sports fan, you know that to be a top athlete, it takes daily practice. Pretty much every day, you have to be practicing the skills necessary for the particular sport. Exercising to improve or maintain your strength and cardiovascular fitness and monitor what you're taking in through food and drink. Godliness works in much the same way. Every day we need to be studying scripture and theology so that we can grow our knowledge of the things of God, spend time in prayer and listening to God to improve or maintain our spiritual fitness, and to be monitoring the messages we are allowing into our mind and consciousness. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me by Albert Orsbon. Let the beauty of Jesus be seen in me, all his wonderful passion and purity. And from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 42, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teachings and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. And that is your daily devotion for Saturday, October the 12th. Have a blessed day.